Phil from Masterpiece Arms. We're out here today at Swaggy Valley, and we're going to go through a process that's called true in your data. Uh, one of the things I see, especially with a lot of newer shooters that are coming into this sport or getting into long range shooting, is that they rely too much on information other than what happens, you know, with their specific rifle and the ammo that they're shooting to determine what kind of elevation adjustments they need to make, either in a Kestrel or in a ballistic calculator. They'll go by the number that's on the box or the VC that's on the, um, you know, on the box of projectiles or factory loaded ammo or whatever. But what you need to do is you need to actually verify, you need to true it. So one of my good buddies, Brian Morgan, told me this a number of years ago, and I still find today it works perfectly. And what you do is you, you true your velocity at 500 yards, and then you true your, your BC at 1,000. So <clears throat> when you're going to a match or you're preparing to go to a match and you have access to a range or the practice day on a Friday, you know, you've got some targets out to distance, hopefully somewhere between, you know, 800 and 1,200 yards. Then go through this procedure, you know, verify your data. So what we're going to do today, I'm running a, um, a Berger 108 Elite Hunter. And this first time I've run this bullet. And so I'm initially going to put in the data that's on the box, the VC, which is 0 .560 in a G1. And I'm going to put in the velocity that I'm running in the 6BR. This is a Masterpiece Arm 6BR in a matrix chassis. Uh, I'm going to run it at 2870. So that's the number that I've got here in my, in my Kestrel. So I've got 2870 feet per second. The G1 is 0 .560. It's a 108 grain. It's 243 diameter. 1.260 inches in length. That's what I get off the burger information off their website for that bullet. 100 yard zero. 2.1 inches from the center line of the optic to the center line of the bore, uh, one and seven twist, etc. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out to 500 yards. So 500 yards is telling me that I need to be at 2.64 mil. So I'm going to round it down to 2.6, and then we're going to take a shot out there at um, at 500 yards. And if you can see out there, there's an ipsic on the right. And we've got a little bit of wind today, so I'm going to I'm going to hold about two tenths left. And what we're trying to do, if you see all the targets out there, we're wanting to hit on the watermark, that orange horizontal line. So that's that's really important. You're not just trying to hit the target; you're trying to be right on top of that line. So what we're going to do, I've got 2,870 feet per second. So we're going to go ahead and hit that target at 500 yards off on the right. That's 66 percent ipsy. All right, perfect. So if you can see that thing get water on the right or what right on the water line. All right, so now we're going to go out to 600 yards. All right, 600 yards. It is telling me that I should be at 3.56. So I'm going to go to 3.6. I'm going to round up a tenth. 3.56. I'm down 3.6. If you look out there on the lane, you'll see on the left side. You'll see a square target and a 45% IPSC. So I'm going to be aiming for that square target on the left. I'm going to give it about two tenths of left. Okay, so I'm tracking about a tenth high on that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that in mind. I'm not going to make any changes yet. We're going to go out to 700 yards. All right, so at 700 yards, Tell me that I should be at 4.6. So we're going to dial 4.6 mils. All right. If you look out there on the range, on the right side, just past that 500 yard target, you'll see a 66% ipsic, a 45, and a diamond. All right. So I'm going to go for that one on the left. I'm going to put the reticle on the left side of the target. So I'm holding about three tenths, and we'll see what happens here. Okay. Now I'm about two tenths high, so I'm not going to change anything yet because you know I verified my velocity at 500. And it was good at 2870, so we're going to go out now to 800 yards. So I know like at 700 and 700 dollars a tenth high, 800 or 600 dollars a tenth high, 700 dollars two tenths high. So let's see what it says at 800. 800 tells me I should be at 5.7. Okay. 
All right, so on the left out there, you'll see uh, two 66% hits in a round circle. I'm going to give that one on the left about three tenths. Again, tracking high, about two tenths. So I'm going to make an adjustment now. So I'm going to go into my data here, and I'm going to increase. I'm not changing my velocity. I'm going to make an adjustment to my BC. So from five, and what? It, so I need to be two tenths. So I need to be at 5.5 to be able to be on the water line. Okay. So I'm going to change the BC until it gets me to 5.5. All right, so I'm going to go up to 0.6. I'm going to go up 0.04 on my BC from 0.560 to 0.6. Pretty healthy change. All right, so when I exit the system, it tells me 5.54, so I'm, that's 5.5. So let's take a shot at that 800 yard target out there. So we just engage on the left. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hold about three tenths of left. Perfect. Right on the water line. That's what we're after. Okay, so now we're going to go out to 966 yards. All right, so 966. It is telling me that I should be at 7.6. So I'm going to go to 7.6. And if you look out there on the range, uh, to the right of the number 8, you'll see a full size IPSC, a 45% IPSC, a round circle, a 4 inch square and a 66% IPSIC. We're going to go for the full size on the left. All right, so let's take a shot of that. I'm going to hold about three tenths again. I'm, I'm holding my, my reticle right on the water line. That's where I want this thing to hit. All right. Okay, that hit high and right on the target. All right, so that's about two tenths high. So I'm going to put another shot on it and let's just see what this thing does. You give it a full four tenths. I'm going to go five tenths on wind. Okay, it's still tracking. Uh, it is still tracking two tenths high. So I'm going to go into my data again. And I'm going to make another adjustment to my BC. I'm going to check, take it to 0.623. Pretty healthy increase. All right, so what that's telling me here. That should be at 7.4. All right, so we're going to drop it down two tenths to 7.4, which is about, it looks like I'm two tenths out there. All right. So we're going to hold it half a mil left, half a mil left on the wind at 7.4. We'll see what it does. Okay, so that is just maybe about two inches below the water line. All right, so let's go back up a tenth. Let's take it at 7.5. Let's see what this does right here. Again, I'm going to hold half a mil. Okay, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. So it's telling me I should be at 7.5 mils. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to reduce the BC from 0.623, I'm going to take it down to about 0.610. All right, 7.5. Okay, so the, on the box of the burger bullets, it tells me my G1BC is 0 0.560, and I've adjusted it up to 0 0.610. All right, so I've gone up a pretty healthy amount. It doesn't matter. It's just a number. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this ballistic calculator to give me data so that my elevation is correct at distance. So that is what we call true in the data. So I would, again, you know, I do this every time I go to a match. I'll come out here to Swaggy Valley, or if I'm going to a match that I know has a practice day on Friday, I'm going to take the time to verify my data at distance. I'm going to go to 500 yards. I'll have my, mag my magneto speed or my lab radar set up. I'll verify the velocity that is telling me on the gauge and also at the target. And I'm going by what I see downrange, not what the information here, either with the magneto speed or the BC, on the box of bullets is telling me. I want this rifle to tell me what I need and, uni and unify that with my Kestrel so that when I'm shooting the match, the data that this thing is telling me is what's going to allow me to not have any elevation errors. Wind, that's on me. Mirage, that's on me. Elevation, you know, that should be something 
that I should be able to trust here in this Kestrel. So again, that's called true in your data. Yeah, every time you go to a match, please do it. Uh, when you're getting a new rifle, you're developing a load, verify that you, you know, just, it's always a good thing to do. So, and it's something, the mistake that I see a lot of newer shooters when they go to a match, they'll be hitting above the target, on the top of the target, below the target, way low on it because they haven't gone through the simple procedure. So, check it out. MassBeastArms.com. Thanks for watching.